already know um, I'm back on my YouTube channel. Thank you for listening. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for the likes. You know, thank you for listening to my music. And uh, thank you for just, you know, the views. Thank you for those views. I'm noticing people are viewing some of my videos. And thank you for listening to my music, my songs. And, uh, thank you for listening to my philosophy. And thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So, I'm just going to be talking about some things that occurred, some things that happened. Um, uh, the Super Bowl, you know, I wanted the Eagles to win, but the Super, the, the Eagles, they, they lost to, you know, uh, Kansas City. You know, I'm not going to be no sore loser, no sore uh, loser, so I'm just going to say, you know, uh, I'm going to give them the props, you know, but... Like next year, we're going, you know, the Eagles is going to do something, you know. So, um, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm always rooting for them. I'm always going to root for the underdog. But um, somebody was telling me that if the Eagles won, I, was, I would have said something about saying that, yeah, we, I knew they was going to win and I knew that they was going to lose and, that, you know, victory to the Eagles and stuff like that. They, they probably right. I would probably would have said that, you know. But um, anyway, um, I, I found out that uh, Joy Behar, she had a clothing malfunction and showed some of her body or something like that. Joy Behar, I wasn't even really uh, looking at her as a sex symbol or a sex object, but you know, I come to find out that uh, Joy Behar from The View is a sexy woman, you know, you know she's sexy. So, um, and she's funny, she's a comedian and she's a reporter and you know, a journalist and next on the stories that I seen um, I see Rihanna and ASAP Rocky you know they had a baby and they're, they're on the cover of a magazine that is uh, incredible that's beautiful and this is on the right time because uh, it's Black History Month and there's also Valentine's Day and uh, uh, Jay-Z's wife uh, Beyonce, Beyonce knows, or Beyonce, she's, uh, she, she has the most, uh, Grammys, she has the most Grammys out of everybody that has Grammys, and that, that's a blessing, that's incredible, you know, much respects to, uh, Beyonce and Jay-Z, and, and even the little baby, um, she's not a baby anymore, the little, the girl, um, their daughter, uh, uh, Blue Ivy, her birthday was uh, a while ago, and um, she also has a Grammy. That's incredible. Um, that's major. Um, that's a blessing. So, um, also, uh, sad to say, Raquel Welch, she passed away. She was one of the most uh, beautifulest women in the world, you know, next to uh, Pam Greer and uh, um, um, I think also, I like Mary J. Blige. She's one of the prettiest women that I've seen. I see Mary J. Blige on the stage dancing, and every time I write a rhyme, I try to say something about Mary J. Blige, you know. Um, anyway, Raquel Welch, she passed away, and it was, uh, you know, it, it, it affected a lot of people because she did a lot of movies, a lot of TV shows, movies, she did major movies, she did, you know, B-movies, she did, she even did a movie uh, with with uh, with a football player. Uh, it's incredible uh, that she did so much stuff, you know, so many movies and so much stuff. She passed away, you know. May she rest in peace. A lot of uh, people passed away last year, and a lot of people passed away this year, and um, some people that's going to have some babies. There's some babies that's going to be on the way as well. So, you know, waiting to see some more people having some more babies, you know. Because people are having sex, sex out there, you know. Some people have having sex in their house. Some people have having sex in different places. So some babies is going to be coming. Babies is on its way, you know. You know, and it's beautiful. It's a beautiful thing to have a baby. Some people don't want no babies, though. You know. Um... So I, I wrote some rhymes down, and some of these rhymes, I don't know, some people may be offended by the rhymes, so 
I was thinking about deleting some of my raps and some of my rhymes, but I said, you know what, I'm not gonna delete the rhyme without nobody hearing it. So I just put these rhymes on there. So these are some of the some of the rhymes that you see where it may have some curse words in it or it may have certain things talking about sex and stuff like that. I don't I'm not trying to be disrespectful to anybody, but you know, that's how I felt at that time and then I recorded it. But then I was looking at the delete button. Should I delete this song or should I put it on my YouTube? So I was like, it would be it would be fair to the people. So I said I'm gonna I'm gonna send it out and let the people hear it. If I get uh, 11 views, then I think I accomplish something. If I get a hundred views on uh, some of my songs or some of my poetry, then I think I did something. If I get a like, if I get two likes, three likes, four likes, if I get a hundred likes, then I feel that I did something, you know. You know, sometimes our own self can be against our own self because I was going to delete these songs. A lot of these songs that I have on there, I was going to delete. And a lot of the rhymes that I wrote, I these are rhymes that I was just about to throw away. I was balling them up and was just about to throw them away. But I seen this movie. It was called Five Heartbeats, you know, with Robert Townsend, you know, and, and Leon, Leon, you know. They did a movie called Five Heartbeats, and, and, and in it, he was having, like, writer's block. He was throwing away his 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 lyrics. So I was just about to throw some of my lyrics away. I said, I'm not going to throw away my lyrics. I'm going to put all these lyrics together, and I'm just going to, you know, flow with it, you know? So I just start flowing and flowing and flowing. And I just as soon as I know, I then, like, wrote a bunch of songs. I started... You know, sometimes I just started doing some rhymes off the top of the dome. I started freestyling. I started, you know, uh, flowing. But see, when I flow, it's not flowing for regular people or normal people. I'm actually rapping and rhyming to... It's like I'm rapping and rhyming in front of my... In front of the, the rappers that I respect and I love. In front of the rappers. Some of the, the... In front of the greatest rappers. The greatest MCs that ever touched the mic, you know. I be like I, I be like like DMX. I learned about DMX. DMX technique is he used to have all of the greatest MCs, all of the greatest rappers, and had pictures of them on the wall, and he was rapping in front of them. 